that free men stood against a tyrant, that few stood against many. Hello again, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be testing the F-18 during uh, naval operations on the uh, CBN-71 Theodore Roosevelt. So I'm going to show you my settings again before we start and this is what I got in the uh, settings like before everything is uh, pretty high now you can see and the VR still at 1.1 I mean 1.0 okay so let me zoom out of there and uh, I'll see you when I load the mission. Okay, so there's the boat. Let me show you my uh, open XR settings. There they are. Uh, they pretty much remain the same. Uh, I think that's how I had them before. Yeah. Back. And there you go. That's what I got on the settings. Now let's go to the jet. Alright, so this is the F 18. I'm on the supercarrier, and um, the purpose of this part of the test is to observe the outside and see how it behaves uh, how the graphics you can see the little wobble when it goes right in front of the jet because it's the most uh, demanding part of the simulation is when the jets are sideways in front of you or to the left or the right um, right now the jet is cold it's shut down so um, this test is to uh, start on the low settings which is the jet turned off. As soon as you uh, start all the uh, equipment inside the jet and it's powered on, it will require more uh, graphics power. So this is just to observe the outside while the jet is turned off. So far, it's pretty good. The uh, the smoothness of the flow, the flow of the graphics is pretty good. It's way better than. Steam VR, but um, again, it has that. Sometimes it has the wobble or warping of the image right there. When the jet goes by. It's uh, very double and warp, but again, it's a lot worse in Steam VR. Here inside the cockpit, everything looks awesome. Uh, the movement, the flow, everything is pretty great. Um, and when you look outside, it's pretty good as well. So, so far, this is pretty good. And uh, let's go uh, check out that tower and see how that works. Okay, here in the tower, I'm in the top floor. Um, again, everything moves pretty smooth. Uh, you're gonna see how those jets. Uh, behave while looking from far away it should be okay it should not have any problems um, modeling the jets from far yeah it looks pretty good that one on cat 3 was okay and the movement of people is pretty good uh, these images of the screens are low resolution but again we're not supposed to be here we're supposed to be flying the jet so let me go back here and um, cat 2 pretty good it looks very good no warping or what I call wobbling and here uh, cat 4 let's see pretty 
cool models of uh, what a real carrier looks like. Low res, but they're there. Just extra stuff that they put on. You can see the shadow of the radar looks pretty solid and smooth on top of the jet. No flaws, nothing. And yeah, a little double frames on the jet and starter, but pretty good. Now here in the lower level, um, yeah, I'm getting closer to the deck where all the aircraft are. The carrier right now is pretty full, uh, not completely full, but it's pretty good. Uh, just to test uh, the power of the Open XR, but uh, so far everything moves pretty good. No warping while panning around, so no complaints there. And uh, the tower it looks pretty good. Now let's go back to the jet. Very good. The lines of the fences are kind of blurry, but it's okay. Now the jet is all start up, and I'm gonna start taxiing and see how it behaves. Um, you can see the tower in the back. No complaints there. Everything was pretty good. And in here, yeah, it looks really good. Smooth. No stutter or warping. The shadows on the deck, they move pretty solid. Um, here the tower, everything looks pretty smooth. Especially the rotation of the radars and the flag. Yeah, so far pretty good. Let's see the shadow here. Yeah, the shadow is turning. Nope, it's not like the uh, F F-16 on the ground where the shadow is a lot uh, it stutters a lot so pretty solid shutters here on the deck of the super carrier shadow of the radar it's pretty smooth no complaints there let me see the tower again yep it's pretty good no complaints. But now I notice here on the uh, on the mirrors, the uh, yeah the frames per second on the mirrors are lower than uh, Steam VR. Steam VR has a smoother. If I remember correctly, the mirrors move a lot smoother than this. But it's okay. I can live with that. No problems there. Now I'm moving very slowly to position myself into a cat three. Um, you see the shadows on the F-15 to my left, and all the aircraft on the right. No stuttering or warping when I look outside. Let's just wait for this guy to. Uh, Get on his way. Yeah. Personal movements pretty good, solid. No starters or warping on personnel moving around the deck. Movements are pretty solid on all of them. And then I want to see the shadows of them while they move on the ground. Yep. So far, pretty good on deck. Alright, let me get the bar down. And uh, let's get this bad boy in the air yeah you can see the shadow of his hands everything moves pretty solid the shadows are pretty good oh 
He wants more trim. You get more trim. 14, 15. All right. Let's see how the movements of the hands. Hands move pretty good. And here we go. Warping on the nose, like in the F-16, the nose will stutter or warp or wobble in front of you. Let me check the uh, left wing here. Uh, just a little bit, yeah, a little bit of stutter or wobbling on the tip when weapons, just like the F-16. A low altitude, I guess the, uh, the ocean makes him... Um, stutter or warp. Um, remember, I have the water set to high, so this one, this right wing, yep, same. The same of the F 16. So now let's go check out some uh, external views and see how they behave. Cat 2 launching, everything looks good. No warping or wobbling. Frames per second are solid. Stays at 30, 30 to 31. So that's pretty good. Shadows on deck. Very smooth. there looks pretty good now uh, cap 4 I added some uh, wind to the water to test it on a high level so it looks pretty good so far yeah as long as you don't and the mouse around the uh, edges will stay solid. And now uh, this view, this view is a more the most demanding one. It's the one that's completely on the side with all the movement in the background. So let's see how this goes. Pretty good. Oh. There he goes. That was the starter or warping. Look at the nose, the top edge, uh, the tail, vertical civilizers, wobble, warping. Oh, yeah. There he goes. All the external views are wobbling or starting just like the F 16. Now here inside the cockpit, I'm going to try to get lower, a lot lower, and look at the nose right now. With the sun in front of it, it will require more power from the graphics. So. Yep, now they're really, really wobbling a lot. If you see the wings weapons yeah so the lower you get on the water the worse it gets but everything on the carrier was pretty good so I think that's it this is it for this test the next one will be uh, recovery I hope this helps and fly safe